Mossberg Maverick 88. This is our first shot. We're at a range day. So we're getting all the guns lined up. We feel like a freaking James Bond guy. Ta -da! So the 88 is a three inch chambering. It weighs in at a seven pounds. It features a 28 inch barrel and a total length of 47 and three quarter inches. It is a pump action shotgun. It has a dual bead barrel and it feeds a five plus one gun. So we're lucky enough that Doyle brought us this gun to shoot today. We found it at Dominion for $364. So this will fall into the budget-friendly shotgun. All right, so we're gonna start at the butt end of the stock. This feels very good. This is super soft and it rigidifies right at the end. Moving up, it's got a little bit of texturing here on the hands. Very nice texturing though, all together. The trigger feel, it feels very nice, very light. The safety is in a very ergonomic spot. I like them up at the front. And the texturing on the forehand reminds me so much of that Mossberg 500 feel. The only thing that is very cumbersome, I feel, and as well as Doyle, is where the release for the pump is. At the back side of the trigger itself, not a huge fan. It does not feel very good. You can accidentally flick that switch and it is gonna run. Mounting itself, very well, comes up very smooth, and your eyes are directly put on that brass bead lining up to the other bead as well. So that's it about the specs. Let's get into some three shot, and then we'll get onto some clays as well. All right, so that recoil pad does do a lot. There is a little bit of recoil on there. I'm gonna say it's not as smooth as some of the other guns that I've shot, but that recoil pad does a lot for the gun. The forehand definitely cycles around nice and clean. The gun ejects them nice and clean. So now that we've done the three shots, let's put some on clays. The loading port, very large, very nice, but it seems like it's getting caught on the tube a little bit and it gets, uh, gets a little hung up. You really have to give her a little, a little push. Overall feel though, very nice gun. The vented rib really helps. Very good gun, let's get back to shooting. All right, so overall, good gun. Great budget-friendly gun. I would definitely use this in the hunting blind for ducks. Things that they can work on, a little bit of recoil management, I believe. The forehand, maybe not the ABS, or maybe not the plastic trimming, but overall, trigger feel, very nice. Safety, I'm a huge fan of it at the front of the gun. 
The beads are nice and clear. You can really get your eye on them. So my synopsis, I would use this in the hunting blind. And that's it for this gun review. If you like this video, give it a like. If you got some comments, let us know. And that is it for the last shot.